welcome to She Codes, episode number 12. We're excited to have a conversation with Ms. Akansha Sharma today. She's a senior software engineer in Mumbai, India. She has been an entrepreneur before and it will be really interesting to understand her entrepreneurial journey. She's a keen learner, quite an experienced developer. Learning and experimenting with new technologies and frameworks is her passion. So please welcome Ms. Akansha Sharma on She Codes and let's hear her story. Uh, hi Akansha, uh, welcome to She Codes and it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, uh, hi Swati, thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to do it. come here and uh, interact with you and thank you so much for this. Uh, it's our pleasure time. Akansha, it's our pleasure. So Akansha, tell us about yourself, uh, your professional journey so far and also about your entrepreneurial journey as well. I've, our audience would love to hear that. Okay. So uh, I've been working as a developer since like almost eight years now, and I started off as in my college days when I started off as I was as in engineer. What I wanted to be that you no, know, that the passion was that started in in my engineering days only, and the only passion, the only thought that I had coming from a year two college was that I need a job anyhow. So that passion drove me, and it's still there, and that's what I'm thankful about. So, I've worked on numerous technologies, like uh, uh, started with Java and then iOS and then Python 2 and now working on C++ also and move along with Java and iOS again. So, it's been a long journey working on different different projects, different different things. But uh, in the, if you talk to me about uh, entrepreneurs thing that, so there is this thing, small thing that group of our friends started. So. Uh, one of our very close friends had an idea about their, making something for people who want to go out. He helped them in a way. So they themselves went to Canada or outside India. So there were some difficulties that they faced during this during their uh, time of travel and then location mm-hmm. and searching for colleges, accommodations, all those things. So they they themselves failed. So they realized that something needs to be done first. Yeah. So then when they came back, they finished up. They so now all both of them have finished their education. So then they thought of that. Let's just get together and do something about it. If let's help other people do it. So somehow we connected through common friends, and the idea uh, clicked to me also. And even I was able to relate to it. Yes, this is something that we need, and this could help a lot of people seeing uh, the interest of people these days to go out and for studies and jobs. So our intended market was to were especially students in the beginning who mm-hmm. to go out and study or for a job. So we used to help them. We the plan was to create have some local mentors and students and connect them and help them throughout their onboarding journey. Right. So so me and one of my friends, we were four we were four of us. We started off as the initial app, build mm-hmm. the app and we and then we went away and now we have more than 10,000 downloads and it's going good till now. Is it still going? I mean, you, the, the app is still live? Yes, the app is still live. So wow. people are, people, we keep on, we get uh, queries from people every day from all over. So we have almost uh, 10,000 of users now on our platform and it's going good. So we have few very good developers who are working on it and developing new features every day and we so now it's just not the platform for uh, what do you call it just for local networking mm-hmm. you do other things also like put it, posting your ads for accommodation so if somebody who's staying right. there in canada he can they can post their ads we also have a uh, little uh, post section where you can post comments and i like this basically engagement so yeah it's growing good Interesting. And this, is, this is yeah. This is what I do for like uh, just as a passion project or something that you can. But uh, mm-hmm. I work as a senior developer for Hair Technology. That's interesting because what was your major learning out of that uh, project, uh, the uh, uh, you know app that you guys have developed? What was the major learnings? So we would love to know that. Major, yeah, I guess the major learning could be how. To understand what people want to know, like to understand, mm-hmm. to get to the root of the problem and then build it. So 
we started from scratch there was already a simple mock up already there but we started from scratch and understanding redesigning everything according to users need and i guess that was important because we got a you constant feedback that people are not clicking here people are not clicking there so changing through that understanding people's needs i guess that is what really helped that is what i actually learned to that how do you adapt to like you might be enthusiastic about a certain feature that this is nice but people might not just click it it might not just and might not people might not be just able to relate to it Mm-hmm. So, yes that is I think it, it goes well for all the products uh, yes. that's that's being developed you have to really connect to the users and understand yes. them uh, uh, Akansha what are your uh, skills and uh, how have you developed them over the years So I started off as a java developer and C++ was my college and then I took up a job at Fire Engine so that was the actually beginning we mm-hmm. had very good uh, pers- very good uh, uh, cpo who taught us the very basics of programming and since then things uh, as is been there and it's still there and as i said that there is a, there is a little drive of in me to learn a- new things every day i get i get bored really quickly on doing the same thing so i need to do something like in some time or the other it's it could be it could be as simple as probably just trying out a different framework in ios only maybe wow. right now i'm working on photo and video then maybe just trying out a cryptography crypto framework or something else but then there is something that uh, keeps me like no there is something that i'm doing otherwise it it's, it it makes me feel like i'm stagnant and so i think that's what helped me develop my skills of ios and then i'm doing it now working on c++ also and then earlier java so majorly it's ios only but uh-huh. i've been hopping here and there started off as a back end developer only full stack so yes the i i guess the only reason uh-huh. is the that drive for learning new things exploring new things yes. that's the only key is what i feel that's interesting because in the technology field you have to learn every day right yes. because it's so dynamic it's, it's, i feel i feel that people are learning so much and i'm every time when i look into a tutorial field i feel there are people are learning so much and i don't want to be left behind and i i do give my whatever time i can to learn new things mm-hmm. yeah that's what it is so, so and if you have to yeah yeah sorry go ahead No, yeah, that, that's it. So it's been good so far. So it's been helping me so far. That attitude. I hope nice. That I yes. That's nice. And if if you have to guide someone, like you know, um, how can someone follow the career path to become what you are? Because you know you're really experienced now. You've been doing really well uh, in the companies that you're working for. So uh, how can one follow that path? What what tips do you have for them? I guess the only tip would be to never say no to any opportunity comes comes in front of you and if you don't have an opportunity then create one for yourself. Mm-hmm. You see you talk to so whenever something new comes to you take an attempt to get out of your comfort zone. Don't feel ki nahi theek hai it's going on fine why do I want to attempt and mm-hmm. it's been 2 years yahan pe settle ho gaya sir why would I want to change? अभी चलता रहेगा ऐसे देन नेक्स्ट कंपनी में जाके देन आई हैव टू वर्क हार्ड फॉर अनदर 6 7 मंथ्स अभी यहां पे सब सेट है एवरीथिंग इज डोंट हैव दैट एनी बिकॉज़ दैट गोइंग टू बी दैट दैट हैम्परिंग योर ग्रोथ इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग इफ यू आर लर्निंग इज अफेक्टेड एट वन प्लेस डोंट डू दैट बिकॉज़ दैट यू दे शुड बी अ कांस्टेंट लर्निंग व्हाट इन व्हाटएवर यू डू बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हाट टेक्नोलॉजी इज अबाउट and it leads in the initial years in it is in the initial years you, you have the time you have the energy you have the enthusiasm you have the will to learn as much as you can and you have that attitude to absorb as much as you can after a while after i've seen people who have to gain an experience and they become a little rigid about learning new things you should not adopt that so yeah that's all if you grab the opportunities whatever you have and if you don't have then create one for yourself So right is said new opportunities uh, comes new challenges and which leads to your growth there yeah constant learning and coming out of your comfort zone i think uh, you we, we really have to stick to that uh, especially yes. in the initial years absolutely yes, 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 i completely yes. agree yeah and and according to you what are the future technologies or you know innovation 
that you are excited about and what are your planning uh, to do in in those fields so i being a little inclined towards swift and uh, in uh, working with here has been has made me a li- little closer to data science and uh, machine learning and i've already had an experience of machine learning in my previous pro- jobs also but that was specific to ios so mm-hmm. with uh, swift coming for tensorflow so what i am excited about is to probably pick that up and start training my models and deep dive deep dive into data science and stuff like that also along with developer experience so yeah that is something that i am excited about that is something that i'm looking forward in next few months probably i'll start something on this side interesting and uh, the most important question how has been your journey as a women engineer uh, and and what message would you have for uh, female engineers uh, out there <laughs> okay i yeah as a women engineer if you'll say it's been very good it's been mm-hmm. actually very good and uh, i initially i was a little scared to be very to run from a very small i'm from jaipur from a very small town and i came to mumbai i was really scared and coming to a new team in a, a big company and a big place like mumbai i was really scared and nervous that i don't know whether, whether i'll be able to prove myself or not whether i'll live up to the expectations or not so there is there is a little insecurity that i have but being the woman it was a little more that mm-hmm. i don't know whether i'll be able to compete with my peers or not so that was there but somehow uh, i coped up and i regularly worked hard and in the same way i guess in, in along with the entire journey i guess what helped me was the people around me mm-hmm. my colleagues so mm-hmm. the the work culture thankfully i've been lucky enough to have a very healthy work culture throughout my 7 to 8 years wherein everybody around me have been encouraging enough to never ever have felt a bias in okay because i am a girl i will be given less of work or like not given that much importance so i have been lucky enough to have good people around me good managers around me good peers around me who have, who have treated me treated me as equal and like so never have felt ki nahi yaar i am something less or or do i have to like nahi so it has been good till now and i hope and i hope the same for everyone else because it i guess and some the most important thing is that it comes within you once you start treating mm-hmm. yourself as i am not not less than anyone else i can do what everyone can do then i think that same reflects to but once you reflect that feeling people adapt that right so people so if you want to reflect as a timid and a person who's who's not very confident then people are going to make that impression of you so be bold about what what you are doing you be happy about what you are doing express your opinions then people are going to welcome you so that's what i felt and yes and be kind to people so the way the most important thing that i guess i have learned is be kind to people people around you because that's how you build the the build the circle that and that only helps you cannot drive alone you can you need people around you so that it helps you con- keeps you motivated I have had friends, and not just girls as friends, but guys also as who keep keep yourself, uh, who keep me motivated throughout. That we need to do good, we need to do good. We used to have those sessions. Ki nahi, we need to do good. We need to let's try this thing, let's try that thing. Mm-hmm. That, so that uh, the team of good people around you is very important. What I feel. Interesting. Uh, during your uh, you know um, entrepreneurship, did you take a break or uh, was it? Or no, you're doing it along with your work. No, it's it's, it's going along. It's going along with whatever you're doing. Uh, okay, because sometimes what happens, you know, when you take a break, it's really hard to come back to the industry. Yes, yes, right. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, you know, especially women who take break due to maternity or you know for personal issues or family uh, to support the family. it's it's really important for them to understand that yes, you know industry yes, is yes. wide open for you yes, right yes, yes. So do you have any thoughts even, on that even on that front i've been very lucky i've been married for 3 years and wow what the both parents on my side and my husband side are very very supportive and very cooperative about it there never has been a day where they have said why are you doing this what is need of this fact they encourage me that no you do whatever you want to so That's what I feel myself. That's what, that's what I'm <laughs> lucky in. So it's 
So when you have good people around you, the energy is good, and you feel motivated. You do good. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're right about the break, but I guess uh, the industry is a little accepting now. Has become a little accepted now to at least talented people. If you have, if they see the zeal, if they see the enthusiasm, they take you up in respect to the pay. And so many, many reasons. reasons. If it is for genuine reasons, I have people, I have friends who have taken a break for maternity things or for other personal reasons, which is required. Mm-hmm. See, everything uh, you you decide your priorities, right? At there comes a time in your life wherein you decide that my family is my priority right now. So work can work has to decide. And at that time, if it works fine, and the industry is accepting enough, I is what I feel, at least the new standard. So if you are good. In your work, and if you have the enthusiasm, they take you up. Oh, right. Yeah. And lot of MNCs have uh, uh, the comeback programs, right, for women. Yes. Uh, yes. So it's quite encouraging for uh, women to come back to the job. Yes. And also, I guess with COVID and everything, this work from home situation is really going to benefit women, if not anyone else. So uh, thank you so much, Akansha, for coming to She Codes. Uh, our audience will love my your pleasure, story. My yes, and we would we, we we are honored to have you on our show. And uh, same, same, I same. wish you all the luck, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you yes, so much definitely. for coming. I wish you the same. I wish you the same. Take care.